less than a week away from Gulf South Conference basketball. And for Delta State, the first three games are all on the road, and they are against tough opponents. The statesmen and lady statesmen will be tested right away. The men wrapped up non-conference play on Saturday, December 7th, hosting Miles College at Walter Sillers Coliseum in Cleveland and looking for a seventh straight win. DSU jumps out to an early lead. Freshman Devin Schmidt adds to it when he sees the defender has backed off. That three is good for Schmidt. Statesmen are up 10-0 about four minutes in. A few minutes later, the ball gets to Mike Weems in the corner. He sinks another three for the Statesmen. It's 17-4 now in the first half. DSU working towards a 20-point lead with eight minutes still to go. That was Cornell Knight passing as he's falling. Alistair Chisholm finishes 25-9, Statesman leading now. Schmidt out and running this time, gets the layup, draws the foul. Score is now 27-9 after Schmidt's effort. At halftime, DSU is holding Miles to just 11 points. It's a 29-point lead with a 40-11 score. Second half now, that was Knight. Coast to coast for the bucket, 44-13. Statesman leading now. 16 minutes left on the clock. Schmidt has found a rhythm from beyond the arc. Puts up another three-pointer. 34-point lead for DSU, leading 49-15. With Delta playing this good, you had to know this was coming. Off the pass from Knight, Mike Washington throws down the dunk. That made it a 40-point lead with 11 more minutes of game time to go. Off the miss on this one, the ball gets tipped tonight. He starts to set up a play, but he sees a hole, drives the lane. Cordell with the basket, and he draws a foul. He makes it a three-point play. It is 70-27, to 27, Delta State. Jack Madden, normally the go-to shooter, but here he drives baseline. No one stops him. He goes under the basket, lays it in backwards, 47-point lead. Statesman up. 76-29. Time for the starters to sit, but the DSU bench doesn't let up. Jake Mastranzi loses his defender, hits the jumper. Now a 50-point lead at 80-30. Delta State goes on to beat Miles 88-36. I thought we played really well. It's obvious that we've gotten a lot better, and um, that's that's the whole deal. You want to continue to improve, and you know every day out, every game out, every possession, you are working to get better. And uh, I thought the really big deal tonight was, as we started that second half, we told our team, you know, this is an opportunity for us to set the tone for the rest of the week of practice, getting ready for our first conference game. It's extremely important that we come out there in that first five minutes that we, we dominate this game defensively and we attack them on the offensive end. And we set the tone for how we're going to practice this week and what we expect this week as we prepare for our first conference game. Obviously, I couldn't ask for any better. I thought we uh, thought we did a tremendous job. The second big key with tonight is these games have a tendency for uh, you to get out of character of who you are because of your opponent. And I'm not trying to degrade miles in any way whatsoever, but when the score gets to the different differential that it was, you, you have a tendency to do that. I thought our team did a great job of staying in character, staying who we were, and doing what we do. And um, that's good learning for us. And then the opportunity to play a lot of guys in the game I thought was really good too. It was another double-double night for big man Willie Reed as he scored 20 points and pulled down 13 rebounds. You know, Willie has Willie's played really well. Uh, it, it gets a little uh, frustrating for him at times because he's – you know, he's probably fouled every time he touches the ball. But, you know, they're not going to call all those, nor should they call all those. I would be happy if they did. I'm sure Willie would be happy, but that's just not going to happen. And uh, the key is, is that you play through that, and you don't let that take away from your game. And we had, um, we had a moment there where there was some frustration built up, but I thought Willie did a really good job of settling in and playing through it and doing a great job of staying in character and who we are. And uh, yeah, he ends up having a heck of a game statistically. Schmidt put up 14 points and Chisholm had 13, part of 29 points off the bench for the Statesman. That's one of the good things Coach Boone saw against Miles and wants to see every game. You know, something that we love to see every night that doesn't have as much to do with uh, execution. Well, it does because it's getting the right people in the right spots. 
I thought we shot the ball really well. I thought that Devin Smith played really well. Um, not just because he shot the ball well, but I thought he handled the ball well. He kept the ball out of trouble for the most part. He did a good job of running his team, and those are the things that we expect out of him. I really like the way that Cornell Knight attacked the glass. We've got to work on finishing, but he did a really nice job of getting the ball to glass to score. And probably, aside from our defense, I thought we did as good a job tonight as we've done all season of running, uh, running the floor and, and really uh, adding that element to our game. And that's something that we're, we're doing differently now than we did last year, obviously, and we're excited about it. The Statesman scored 10 points off turnovers, another 10 on fast breaks, and 50 points in the paint. When you're pushing the tempo, though, that doesn't mean you can lose control. You know, I heard this from a coach years ago, and I've used it with our team constantly. You've got to know when to woe and when to go. And I thought our guys did a really good job tonight of picking and choosing those opportunities. The Statesmen are now 7-1 and one on the season and on a seven-game win streak. That feels pretty good going into Gulf South Conference play. I do. I, I feel really good. Um, you know, it would be nicer if we were opening at home, but everybody can't do that. And as I told our team, um, you know, they scheduled us three road games to start the season against two of the top three teams in our league. But that's great. That gives us a chance to go. Uh, have an opportunity to, uh, I don't want to say steal, because uh, I really like our team and I think that anything we get is earned, but it gives us an opportunity to go earn a win on the road that uh, early on. And so we're, we're excited about the opportunity and I do believe that what happened here today and how we stayed in character and how we played with great intensity, particularly on the defensive end, uh, will be a good platform for us as we progress and practice through the rest of the week. Coach Boone has said plenty of times that this team needs to play its game. Staying in character will be important in GSC games. A lot of times, particularly when you get into conference play, where the talent level is so close, the determining factor is which team can impose their will upon the other. And the greater job you can do of staying in character and playing your game and not allowing your opponent to take you out of that, I believe is a really big key in league play where, again, the talent level is close and everybody knows exactly what the other guy's doing because of film. So it, uh, I'm really pleased with our team right now. I think we've made great progress. We have a long way to go, but we know that and we recognize that and that's, that's important. DSU out-rebounded Miles 54-24 and held its opponent to 24% shooting from the field. But Coach Boone says there is still plenty to work on before facing Christian Brothers. Oh, we have a lot to work on. Uh, Christian Brothers um, exposes you defensively as well, if not better, than anybody else in our league. And the biggest thing with them on the defensive end is defensive patience. Everybody always refers to offensive patience. Defensive patience is extremely important that you're not reaching, you're not gambling, you're not out of position. If you do any of those things, then Christian Brothers takes advantage of that. We're gonna to have to do a great job of being very disciplined and very patient defensively. And with that being said, they are a team that attacks the arc as well, if not better than any team in our league. And we're going to have to do a great job of defending the arc in that game on Saturday. With conference action starting even earlier this season, it's time to get ready for the tough schedule ahead. I'm a big believer in conference games occurring in the second semester. But I do like the fact that our league allowed us to get to the latter part of the first semester before we play any league games. And so I think our guys are ready. I think we're anxious to get started with league play. Again, as we have approached this first part of our year, it's a, uh, it's a marathon. It's not a sprint. A lot of, a lot of things are going to happen. There's going to be a lot of water 
go under the bridge. And uh, the key is, is that you maintain an even keel. You can't get too high, you can't get too low. Because particularly with this team, I think we have I think we have a lot of good basketball hit. The next game for the Statesmen is Saturday, December 14th at Christian Brothers in Memphis. Tip-off is scheduled for 4 o'clock. For GoStatesmen.com, I'm Katie Smith.